whatever you do, don't take matters into your own hands. Wait on God. Yes, I know it's challenging. I know it's a struggle. But one of the fruits of the Spirit is patience. And that's one of the things God has continuously been teaching me. Story times, my senior year of high school, I was desperate to get a car. I saved up all my little Taco Bell money and I was like, yeah, I want to get a used Honda Civic for a thousand dollars. And people would laugh me out the room. <laughs> they would be like, girl, be realistic. You're not about to get no Honda Civic for a thousand dollars. Why don't you just put a thousand dollars down as a down payment and just have a car payment? And I'm like, maybe they're right. Maybe I'm not being realistic. I'm going to just settle for this car that I don't even want. And it's $7,000 more than what I wanted to spend. But you know what God said? Psych. <laughs> I ain't even about to let you make that mistake. Let me step in and intervene and shake you up a little bit. Because I know I'm going to bless you later on. I kid you not. I took out $1,200 in cash. Took it to work with me at Taco Bell. I didn't tell anybody I had cash on me. And by the next morning, I went to school. I went in my wallet and I kept counting the money. I kept counting the money. I kept counting the money. I'm like, it's only $200 in his purse. It was $1,200 in his purse. Why is it only $200 in a purse? That's when I realized, girl, somebody stole $1,000. A thousand dollars. Mind you, that was the exact amount of money I said I wanted to spend on the car I really wanted. So I call my mom. I'm crying hysterically. I'm like, Mom, why would God let this happen to me? And she was like, No, don't blame this on God. This happened because you weren't patient. You were acting out of desperation. You weren't waiting on God. And right when she said that, I shut up because I knew deep down in my spirit she was right. So I was like, you know what, mom, you're right. I'm going to just start stacking my money again and I'm going to just be patient. I'm not even about to obsess over it no more. I ain't about to be desperately looking for a car. I'm going to just let it come to me. I'm going to just trust God. And literally a month after that happened, I got a new job making $5 more an hour than I was making at Taco Bell. And literally a few days after me working there, my uncle-in-law calls me back to back. And I'm texting him like, yo, why you keep calling me? I can't talk, I'm at my new job. And he texts me back, he's like, this lady is trying to get a new Honda Civic off me, but she's willing to sell you her Honda Civic for $1,000. So check this out, the dealership, they were only willing to give her $500 if she traded it in. She was like, man, if I could just get somebody to buy it for $1,000, that would help me out so much. Automatically, when she said that, my uncle-in-law was like, I'm going to call my niece. She wants the exact same Honda Civic as yours, and she wants to pay $1,000 for it. I'm going to call her. I know she has it. I just so happened to have $1,200 saved again. As soon as he told me, yeah, this lady, she has a Honda Civic. She wants to sell it to you for $1,000 XYZ. I was like, okay, I'll take it. I didn't really ask no questions about the car. I wasn't like, oh, let me test drive it first and see. I knew in my spirit, this is what God wanted me to wait on. <laughs> when that $1,000 was stolen from me, I felt like it was the end of the world. I was so angry at God. But once I got the blessing God had for me all along, I was so grateful that $1,000 was stolen from me. And that taught me a valuable lesson about patience. I ended up driving that car for five years. And that car had 190 some thousand miles on it when I first bought it. And I still was able to drive it for five years. You cannot tell me that what God has for you is not better than what you trying to get on your own. That's why I really want to encourage you to wait on God. Don't act out of desperation. Don't try to control everything. Let God be God. If you let God be in control, he's going to exceed your expectations and what you could do on your own. Don't you know, if that $1,000 wasn't stolen from me, I was going to use that as a down payment 
on the $8,000 car that I didn't even want. The very next day, I planned on going to the dealer and settling for this car that was way more expensive that I didn't even want. Look how God still came through, even in my disobedience, even in my impatience, he still came through because I learned the lesson and I surrendered. And don't let people talk you out of your blessings just because they lack faith. When they try to give you logical reasons why something won't work, just tell them, look, baby, I serve a God that defies logic. <laughs>